Hi everyone, it's here. Thanks for stopping by. So just a quick unboxing today and it is a box inside a bag. Yay! <laughs> this one has come to me from AliExpress. Uh, it's one of the new Christmas items that I've been seeing coming out on some of the websites. So I thought I would get one and have a look. And it's very different for me. It's actually a candle in like a snow globe. And there's lots and lots of cutesy ones of these with snowmen and Santas and all sorts. But do you know, I must be getting old because I actually like the candle best. <laughs> oh dear, don't lose your cutesy thing, Liz. Yeah, I just thought this looked more Christmassy because um, I've got a lot of Santas and cutesy stuff. And I just thought I would get this and have a look at it. Oh, this looks really different and really good. Okay. So it's come nicely boxed. Uh, we've got your basic toolkit, your pen, your bought your wax, and just a few little book sales. Got all special drill. Looks like they're all uh, your little round shapes there. So we've got a little stand. It's got a little bit scuffed there. Okay, not to worry. You can always use a, a marker to get that out. We've got a base there. We've got a piece of like perspex. Does that have a cover on it? Possibly. I'm hoping it's got a cover on it. Let's have a look. Is this supposed to be clear or has it got a cover? It has got a cover on it. So it's got a cover both sides. So it is clear. Uh, it's just that it's got like a dust and anti-scratch cover on it for transport. So that's good. And then let's have a look at this. Oh, Oh, and it's double-sided as well. I didn't realise it was double-sided. Oh, wow. And, as I've said many times before, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> so how does this go together then? Oh. oh, and it's got a cover on the back here as well to stop that scratching. So the only bit we're going to diamond paint is the candle, uh, the poinsettia, the holly and the bow at the front. Okay, so how on earth do we get this to go together? I think that is possibly the base so that it's not sitting flat. So I know that's going to go in there somehow. And that's going to sit on there somehow. But then how do we fasten these onto here? Okay. The art mirror images as well, which is excellent because we've not got one candle going one way and one going the other. They are actually a mirror image, so they can go back to back. And that's going to sit in there. Oh, so this is different. Right, so that goes in there. They're going to sit like that, but how do we? Oh, unless this is sticky. Ah, this is sticky. That's why it's not a cover sheet. It's a cover to cover the sticky. These are sticky. Have I said that these are sticky? <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, that's sticky. Right. So that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, that's super. Really, really good. Okay, so liking this a lot. This is going to get on my nerves. I'm just going to snip these off. Because they've covered up. But these bits are just going to really get on my nerves. So I'm going to take those off now. <laughs> so I've not got flappy bits. So yeah, so I will get this diamond painted. And then get it sealed. Because this definitely needs sealing. And yeah, if you put a candle behind it, it's going to really glow. Not a real candle. You can get those little tea lights now that are battery operated. And it's a little bit dusty and a little bit dirty. <laughs> it's It's been in the wars, I think, this one. But uh, yeah, it's very, very nice. And this is sort of, I think I might have to get another one now. So that I've got one either side of the mantelpiece. And they'll look quite effective. So yeah, so you take your backing cover off. So you need to... So 
so to make it up then this is the base so i don't mind quite so much that that's got a little bit scuffed because you're not going to see that anyway that will slot into there oops and Hmm, now then, which is going to be the best way to do this? Let's just take this out. I would suspect the best way to make it up is once you've diamond painted it, pop that, take your cover off, pop that on there so that that's level. Take your covers off this and then line this up and then take your covers off this one and line that up so that it's all completely done and then pop it into well it'll be this piece that goes into there because i think if you try doing it while it's stood up you might not get as good a finish but we'll see when we get it done but yeah i'm really impressed with this i didn't expect it to be as big and i certainly didn't expect it to be this nice dark wood either so let's give it a measure seeing as we've said it's bigger than i expected and the actual from the top to the bottom is uh, seven and a quarter inches, which is 18 and a half centimetres. And the width of your snow globe is just over six inches, which is about 15 and a half centimetres. And the base is just slightly under that. The base is just slightly smaller. And then your little footprint, wherever you're putting it on your mantelpiece or wherever is five and a half inches which is 14 centimeters by three and a half inches which is nine centimeters so it is a lovely size but yeah, yeah it's been well packaged I said it came in a nice box but I think I'm gonna have to get another one it's a shame they haven't got another different candle one but I don't mind having two of the same I think a matching pair either side of the fireplace would be quite nice mm -hmm. Put me getting candles, getting all grown up. <laughs> Won't last long. Okay. Oh, and I can see a hot pink. I'm calling hot pink. Yay. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We have 14 different colours. Wow. Little tiny. I didn't expect it to be double sided either, which is excellent. So we have this lovely cherry red, we have a pale pink and a darker red there and an orangey red and a pink and a hot pink, hot pink and a bronzy brown and a goldy yellow and a very pale champagne gold and like a, a green, very pale lemony green colour and a nice greeny grass colour and oh that's a different colour you call that then like a bluey green but it's a little bit of yellow as well in it mm, not quite an aqua very nice and then a darker green and then some larger red faceted round which i presume will be the holly berries okay well i have to say i'm impressed with this um it's definitely a lot better than i was expecting and the price of this one was, with postage and tax, was £9.37. So, yeah, I think that's uh, a pretty good, and it would be very nice as a present for somebody if you're not wanting to send a Christmas card, but wanting to send a greeting to somebody. And it's certainly a present that you can get out every year. Hmm, definitely going to get some more of these. Okay, well, just a quick little unboxing today. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them in the comments down below. When I have completed it, uh, it probably will be November now, um, after I've done all my spooky ones for the events that are going on in October. Yeah, any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you've enjoyed looking at this with me, as always, a thumbs up is very, very much appreciated. And if you want to subscribe and come and join our little family and uh, see what we get up to, then if you press that subscribe button and the old notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.